was in regards to the great and late Norm Macdonald, right? Unfortunately, um, he's passed away now, as I'm sure most of you are aware. Um, but there is a special um, comedy special out at the moment that's available on Netflix. I haven't watched it. I'm actually going to make sure I watch so I can do a review of it. But um, he's way funnier than a lot of people that have been made comedy specials recently. You know, um, case in point being flipping Brendan Shaw. This man on his deathbed and speaking into a computer, basically running through the jokes, you know, and on, on, his base, on, on flipping Zoom, has made a far better comedy special from the clips that I've seen than the entirety of Brendan Shaw's 25-minute one, which is pretty sad, to be honest. But um, the late, great Norm MacDonald, R.I.P. to the GOAT, I thought this was a pretty interesting point that he made in his special that's out, out now on Netflix. And you're a comedian. They expect you to know things nowadays. You know what I mean? It didn't used to be like that. Like during the Vietnam War, they wouldn't go, wonder what Red Skeleton thinks on this. But nowadays, like I've heard, they go, the, a comedian is the modern-day philosopher, you know? Which, uh, first of all, it always makes me feel sad for the actual modern-day philosophers <laughs> who exist, you know? <laughs> Brilliant, man. That's classic norm. Classic norm, honestly. Um, I'm so glad I found Norm MacDonald way before um, this news of him passing happened. Um, because I can only imagine how heartbreaking it must have been for a person who stumbled across Norm MacDonald and did what we all did and went on an insane um, down the rabbit hole thing of checking out his show, checking out his clips from SNL. And then you finally flip in a couple of days later here that he passed away. Horrible. Um, but yeah, what an absolute legend, what an absolute beast of a comic, um, a legit comic, legit, legitimate comic, somebody who took pride in making people laugh, somebody who didn't have an overinflated sense of self, somebody who didn't think that because they got on the stage that it somehow made them to be flipping a presidential candidate because they're speaking in front of an audience or some shit. Do you know what I mean? A real, real legend. Yeah, as Joe Valdo said, he's waking up this and that's another great. Honestly, super, super good. Just check out any compilation with Norma Donald online, especially on YouTube. There's plenty of them out available. And it's probably one of the more funnier things that you will see um, in comparison to what you see from all these other flipping redacted stand-up comedians. But on the other note, kind of sad, is that... Um, there was a mad clip that went out. I remember this was a while ago, which is I think is this one here, right? Yeah, this is the clip. This is taken from an episode of King and the Sting nearly a year ago, right? Where I guess it's it's kind of um, brought up that Norm Macdonald unfortunately had passed away. And this is something that Brendan does quite often, I've realised with people. Maybe it's a kind of... Um, kind of automatic reaction because he's always kind of felt weird whenever people... Whenever people are mentioned that he doesn't necessarily like as much as everybody else... And they've kind of, you know, in praise or because they're past or whatever, bring attention to their name. He has this natural reaction to kind of just maybe slightly shit on them in a really passive aggressive way. And he kind of did this at the time, which I remember listening to. I was like, why would you say something like that about somebody who just passed away? Especially somebody who's meant to be like a comedic peer. And I thought this was really, really weird, um, the thing that he said here. So I'll play a few and then maybe you guys can react and see what you think as well. And then I'll play the other clip from Norm Donald special where it seems like he kind of touches upon this kind of illusion or suggestion. Beginning, but there was some breaking sad news. Uh, mm -hmm. Norm MacDonald passed away. What? Yeah. what? Rest in peace. No That's fucking right. way. From what? Uh, I, I haven't seen him. Just getting oh, blown up. Uh, I saw him. Uh, when did this I saw him probably this morning. right before COVID at the comedy store. Yeah. He, he, I didn't know he was a degenerate gambler. Oh, he was like telling wow. me what well, things to bet lot, on and shit. Know, I was like, what? We don't know a lot of things about. Why would you say that about somebody? Why would you say that about somebody? Off the bat, I didn't know he was a degenerate gambler. Clearly hating, clearly being an absolute piece of shit, clearly being an asshole. Like, why would you say that? And again, this is something that um, I've seen him do quite often with some people, and I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just an asshole bit. Maybe it's a weird kind of um, un kind of uh, uncontrollable reaction. You know how sometimes I laugh about something that's really fucked up? Maybe that's his kind of way of love, of kind of dealing with something that he can't process emotionally because he's a bit of a child in that way. I don't know. I just find it really odd. Really, really odd. Wow. No, you have no idea. We, we don't know what's going God, on in their that's lives. that's such a shame. But, you know, well, RIP to him. He was a great performer. Legend. 
just a legendary dude. And Saturday Night Live when he was on the, yeah. the news desk, legend. They even had that fun little show with him and uh, Adam Egit. They had that. I love like, that. You know, right. Well, My I'm favorite podcast. It, it was Norm McDonald Live, favorite podcast of all time. Like I might cry. Uh, they turned it into a Netflix show. Yeah, and so good. Yeah. Fucking. And so oh, like you know, our it. our heart goes out to his family <sighs> and and all the fans and all the people that have like watched him. You know, throughout the years, he's been a legend for so long. And, you know, so we celebrate his life. And, you know, uh, we, we were glad that we had the uh, opportunity. To oh, dude, even have a conversation, him. even though it was yeah. some terrible betting picks. Mm-hmm. I still love the dude, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And he's still doubling down on that nonsense take that he made as if he's funny. This is the thing as well. To say something like that, you have to be really funny to get away with saying something that dark, especially off the cuff, something like that. Right. Because effectively, you would say um, maybe you would say something really dark after the after the um, the producer guy here at the beginning of the show said what he said about Norm, right? Because they all found out at the same time, you would imagine, right? That's maybe when you kind of go in with a really dark joke. But to wait for him to say it and then say, I saw him at a comedy store and he said something to me about being a degenerate gambler. It's like, what the fuck is wrong with you, brother? Have some class, like someone mentioned on the, on the chat, have some flipping decency. But then it's very telling because Brendan does this thing all the time. Whenever somebody, whenever he's trying to like give somebody, whenever he, yeah, whenever the person he met who's famous kind of licked his ass, he'll say, oh, I met him, um, or I bumped into him somewhere, and he was a great guy, really great guy, he was really nice to me, it's, and it's always somebody that everyone usually hates, somebody that people all, all think is a piece of shit, but they were nice to Brendan, he's like, oh, he's really nice to me, so the fact that he didn't say something like that is a clear example of maybe, he did maybe feel like there was some bad, blood. I don't know, I just think it's a really weird reaction to have about something like that, especially considering the stature of the person involved, and it looks like, Maybe it might have got back to Norm Macdonald because this little clip um, kind of maybe echoes it again. And I thought this is really funny. Maybe Norm Macdonald actually heard um, what Brendan might have said in a flipping redacted way and made some comment on it on his special, which is flipping hilarious, I thought. Hey, everybody, it's Norm Macdonald, and this is my comedy special. That's right. Now, uh, of course, I'm looking forward to getting back out there, you know, seeing you folks in person. You know, I love doing gigs, and I miss it. My God, I miss it. You know, especially casinos. Those were my favorite gigs because I'm a degenerate gambler, <laughs> as it turns out. <laughs> R.I.P. to the goat, man. R.I.P. to the goat for making it funny, but it's still absolutely classless from, you know, the absolute shorbinator. But again, we shouldn't expect anything different from that guy in it. But what a weird reaction to something like that, isn't it? What a weird reaction. What are people saying in the chat here? Um, Trish CSG is saying he probably prepared that going in. True. Um, Joan Vada said that's definition of too soon, of course. Michael Jamal says, I had known him instead of meeting him and regurgitating some unnecessary factoid. Also, I missed your first bit. What do you say about the first bit there? Um, what do you say there? Oh, I missed it completely. He wasn't raised like us this line. Okay, cool. Um, Super Jello says, B Ark norm for a truck walk. Hilarious. Um, Jay Santa says, Shub's IQ can't be higher than 80. It's not even a question of IQ. It's just lack of decency. It's not even... I, I, I don't think people, people with even lower IQs than 80 could could be decent enough not to make a... Not to say... Not even a crass joke. Not to say something crass and classless like that after somebody just, you know, has passed away. People don't do that. Unless somebody is your enemy or somebody... somebody you know what I mean? Like a proper enemy that you hated... Whatever it may be, fair enough. There may be all bets are off and you can say that however the hell you want. But usually, in most walks of life, when somebody passes away, you try your best to honour them and their death, innit? Right? That's basically what you do because that's a decent thing to do. They've passed away now. They can't defend themselves. You can't just go in there, like, slating them. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Absolutely madness thing to do for him. But again, we shouldn't be surprised. We shouldn't be surprised. <laughs> 